article delves into Juan's background, his impact on the show, and his life after his departure from the spotlight. Early life and beginnings born on April 2, 1983 in Rio Nevada, Juan Ibarra was brought up in a family deeply entrenched in the plumbing business his parents owned Aura Drain Services providing him with early exposure to the trades, a 2001 graduate of Hug High School drew foray into the professional world began far from the glitter of gold. He initially followed in his family's footsteps, joining the family business right out of school. However, Juan's career trajectory took a dramatic turn when he ventured to central Alaska to work at a mine. This experience not only broadened his skill, set, but also stoked a growing interest in larger-scale mining operations. Despite his deep roots and plumbing, it was this pivot that paved the way for his eventual fame on Gold Rush journey on Gold Rush 1 Bar's introduction to the Gold Rush audience came during a transformative period in his career after years of managing his own business, Ibra Industries, and accumulating a wealth of experience in construction and plumbing. One sought new challenges his mechanical prowess and keen understanding of mining machinery made him a valuable asset to the Hoffman crew, whom he joined nearly 3,000 miles from his home in Nevada during his debuts. Season 1 played a crucial role in helping the Hoffmans mine over $3 million worth of gold his ability to troubleshoot repair and optimize heavy machinery under the harsh conditions of the Klondike gold fields was nothing short of remarkable his tenure with the Hoffmans was however just the beginning one later moved on to work with Tony Beats another prominent gold rush figure where he continued to enhance his reputation as a mechanical guru the highlight of his television career came when he appeared on gold rush Freddie Dodge's mine rescue where he collaborated with Freddie Dodge a respected figure in the in community this partnership underscored his expertise, and solidified his status as a key player in the industry life after Gold Rush, despite his success on the show Devis Hart, remained with his family and his business back in Nevada, the pull of his personal life and the responsibilities of his growing enterprise Ibra Industries eventually led him to step away from Gold Rush since its inception in 2004 and rebranding in 2010 from Ibra Plumbing to Ibra Industries, Juan's business has expanded to include a wide range of services beyond plumbing, such as welding and general equipment. Repair today, Juan is not just a business owner, but also a family man married to Andrea Yera. The couple has four children, Addison Marie Juanito and their youngest, Freddie Travis Ibra, named in honor of their friend and fellow minor Freddie Dodge and Juan's brother-in-law. Travis's family is a testament to his comment to his roots and his life. Outside the limelight with an estimated net worth of $8 million in 2024, one has successfully leveraged his expertise in both his television and entrepreneurial ventures. Though his days on Gold Rush are behind him, one continues to work in the industry he loves, albeit away from the cameras. He remains active in the field of heavy equipment repair, applying his skills to a less glamorous but equally challenging environment. Legacy and Impact Wani Barr's journey from a family owned plumbing service in Nevada to becoming a television celebrity and returning to his entrepreneurial roots is a narrative of resilience, adaptability, and Dedication His story reflects the diverse paths that life can offer when one is willing to explore new opportunities while staying true to their beginnings for one. His legacy on Gold Rush is marked not only by the gold he helped unearth but also by the countless viewers who were inspired by, by his work, ethic skill, and down tour personality. His life now focused on his business and family continues to be driven by the same principles that brought him success both on and off the screen in the dynamic world of gold mining, showcased on Discovery's Gold, Rush the Cameraderie and Partnerships. Formed can be as significant as the precious metals sought by the miners themselves among the notable relationships is the one between Freddie Dodge and Wani Barra, two key figures who have become anonymous with both expertise and teamwork in the series. Their collaboration extends into the popular spin-off Gold Rush Freddy Dodge's Mine Rescue, where their skills, 
complement one another perfectly, but what is their relationship like off-camera a partnership forged in gold? Freddie Dodge, a veteran miner and fan favorite, has been a regular on Gold Rush since season 3 after making impactful cameos in the show's early days, Wanara, introduced to season 6 quickly, became known not just for his mechanical acumen, but also for his engaging personality when the cameras roll there. Synergy is undeniable Freddy with his intuitive understanding of mining, operations, and Juan with his technical expertise often seen explaining processes and backing Freddy's strategies behind the scenes away from the limelight Freddy, and one share a genuine friendship built on mutual respect and shared values The report is not just for show it's a significant aspect of their lives. Speaking about their bond, Freddy has mentioned there's nobody on this planet. I'd rather work with an Onin, he's good at what he does, and he's a good person, and he knows his stuff this high. Praise underscores the deep professional and personal connections between the two. One reciprocates the sentiment, expressing admiration and gratitude for the opportunities to learn from such an experienced minor Juan expressed his enthusiasm about their collaboration, saying working with someone as accomplished as Fred and learning from him, I can't imagine a better way to spend my summer their time together on. The road helping amateur miners serves as an ongoing learning experience for one further enriching their friendship a bond beyond the minds. The depth of their friendship is perhaps most pointedly illustrated by one naming one of his children after Freddie a gesture that deep touched Dodge. Oh, it was an absolute honor when he told me he was naming his son Freddie Dodge, remarked a testament to the significant place one holds in his life. This act of naming his child after Freddie not only shows professional admiration, but also a profound personal respect and affection. Despite occasional differences in opinion on how to tackle specific mining, Challenges Freddy and one consistently demonstrate how a solid partnership can overcome obstacles. Their ability to collaborate and find solutions is not only a testament to their skills, but also to their mutual respect and understanding audience adoration and critical acclaim. The partnership between Freddy and Juan is highly effective and cherished by fans, evidenced by their perfect audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes Ford Gold Rush Mine Rescue, with Freddy and Juan the duo's chemistry and collaborative success resonate with viewers who admire how their teamwork not only drives the show's success, but also aids struggling miners in reversing their fortunes. The relationship between Freddy, Dodge, and Juan Ibarra goes beyond mere Co-worker dynamics encapsulating a, a genuine friendship rooted in shared expertise experiences and a mutual commitment to their craft as they continue to feature in Gold Rush and its spin-offs the gold mining community and viewers alike can look forward to more of their adventures and successes underscored by a partnership that's as solid as the gold they seek.